What is going on, Instagram? Going live one more time. This is Hail Mary time. We're going to talk about how you guys have one hour left to join the masterclass. I'm going to be talking about three things beginner colorists struggle with the most. What's up, YouTube? We're going to be talking about three things that beginner colorists struggle with the most. This is based on my experience, and then I'm going to sandwich, is, sandwich this with what came from you guys. So I do a lot of FAQs. I do a lot of surveys in my stories. Like, you know, we, we try to figure out, like, what kind of stuff I can create that can help you the most. And also, like I said, it's based on the whole one decade worth of experience, the last decade worth of experience. And when I was starting out as a colorist, what was important to me and what were the things that were just going over my head? I had absolutely no idea what it was. So, hey, 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 uh, appreciate you guys showing up. Love you guys on YouTube for showing up. So let's just jump right in, okay? So let's let's get this party started. And this is what I want to say. So first point is, the first thing, the hardest thing for me in the beginning, color grading, I was, I don't know about you guys, but back in 2010, I was using Final Cut 10, and other softwares like DaVinci Resolve was just coming up, but it wasn't really like available for everybody. Um, and then color grading was a foreign concept, okay? In 2010, it's not like how it is today, okay? Everybody knows color grading. They understand all the basic stuff. So back in the day, I'm talking about what's my software? What am I going to use to color? So Final Cut 10 barely had anything. It had like, you know, a three wheel, like you had your primaries, like lift gamma gain. But at the time when you're starting out, you think lift gamma gain is, you know, lame. So I didn't want to use lift gamma gain. And I'm like, no, man, I want to do some advanced stuff. I want to do some keying, like all that stuff. So what should I use? And back then they had Apple Color. So there's a lot of people, and if you guys know Apple Color, then drop a comment below and let me know that, you know, you are one of the crazies that was using like Apple Color back in the day. So then that's what I did, right? So I'm using Apple Color, but the process of taking it from Final Cut 10 or Final Cut 7 at the time or Final Cut whatever, back then all the way into uh, uh, Apple Color, was rocket science, and that process is called conform, right? So conforming is a huge, huge thing. Um, so Michael just said that, yes, I worked Apple Color. So, I mean, he knows what, I, what I'm talking about. So back then, I didn't even know what it was called, the process. How do you take footage out of one software, put it in another, then bring it back, and how do you keep it where everything is intact, like using XML or round tripping, whatever. So conforming was the hardest thing, okay? When I was starting out, and I can attest to that, that one of the biggest things that you guys mention always is that Kazi, anytime I check my DMs, pretty much every single day without a fail, I get DMs that are about Kazi, uh, what's the process? How, like I work in Premiere Pro, I watch you do all this magic in DaVinci Resolve, so I'm just scared. I don't know how to get my footage, you know, from Premiere into Resolve and then round trip it. So that's a pretty big one, right? I know this, and I'm saying that again, like I said, you know, based on experience. So conform is the biggest one, and knowing that is a pretty major thing. Now, you guys know, I'm going to drop this in here, okay? So um, I'm going to do this. Uh, let's see. So that, I just, for YouTube, I just pinned the link, and that is the link to my masterclass. You guys can go check it out. Less than an hour left. And then for Instagram, it's in the bio. You guys can check it out. And, uh, and for YouTube, you guys are looking at the screen. So Conform is the first module in my masterclass that literally breaks it down and tells you exactly what that process is, how to actually do it. You get the footage that you start with in Premiere Pro. So basically, you're going to be inside Premiere Pro, learn how to export properly from Premiere into Resolve and then back into Premiere. The whole process is covered uh, through practical examples. And that's number one. OK, so that's a big one that I wanted to mention. That first thing that, you know, people struggle with. And again, guys, if conform is the thing that you guys struggle with, drop it in, drop it in. I got my brains right here. My wife is sitting right here. She's going to be uh, curating and looking at all the questions and comments. And then we can, you know, attend to that. Usually I'm pretty terrible about it. But this time we're going to attack a lot of questions. OK, this is going to be a dialogue this time around. It's going to be a two way street. Second thing that I want to talk about. Second is, and, and trust me, and if you guys agree with me, once again, drop it in, shot matching. Shot matching was a massive one for me, okay? Because, hey, 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 everybody, like everybody that's showing up, what's going on, guys? Uh, shot matching 
was the okay i don't understand what vijay is saying but it i blocked him because he was just saying something nonsense over and over again. you did block him yeah he was saying the one but it's one still coming through anyways okay so anyway so you know the second biggest one is shot matching so what is shot matching let's talk about that shot matching is when hey kazi i spent a lot of time i can get one shot looking great then i move to the next shot and i don't know what to do tell me if you agree like shot matching is freaking big one right that's a massive one like we can get something to look good we can spend 30 minutes and our hero shot is just on point it looks as good as anything we see on tv you go to the next one and you're like what do i do now copy paste doesn't work or you might get lucky but copy paste won't work every single time you guys know what i'm talking about so that's my second struggle as a beginner colorist when i was starting out and see uh retrospect or, or jose just said that yes shot matching is huge so you know that okay he was never blocked let me just block him because that is crazy okay then maybe you need blocking i thought you maybe said something earlier no i didn't All right, we just have to put somebody on timeout because wow. Okay. Because he has no chill. <laughs> All right. So now moving on to my third point and the third point is again tell me if you guys agree or not. This is the biggest one that took about a year uh, about a decade worth of experience to come up with because I was actually struggling. I'm like what's the third point that I can talk about to you guys? that is uh tough for people that are starting out so i'm like should i say color grading first i wanted to say color grading right because so many people can color grade but it's all wrong you know what i'm saying like in the beginning when you color grade you think that you're doing a good job but then your white points are all over the place your black points are all over the place it looks really cheap and it just it's not right you guys know what i'm talking about but then i thought about it and i'm like i can't say color grading because everybody can color grade like my mom can throw some random filters on facebook pictures and upload them they look like whatever but she just graded it you know like on the spot like she just like it doesn't matter good or bad she graded it so then i just started thinking about it and i'm like no when you're starting out grading is nobody's achilles heel if anything grading is what makes you get into color grading so then i said you know what it is i think not i think i know for a fact it is time management as a colorist one of the massive thing um is that and i'm going to show you i'm going to give you a real example this happened to me okay i'm working on a really big job i'm not going to say uh, the client's name but that's like my early days i'm just getting into color grading and i'm selling it i'm i'm upselling myself i take a job as an editor and then i say i can also color grade and they were like are you sure this is a big one blah 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 i'm like i got this i'll handle it you know commit first and then figure it out later right so i take the project i jump on it and then i'm grading this project and uh, the creative director goes kazi you good i'm like dude i'm solid like you know i'll just get going now if you guys agree with this j- let me know just drop a comment below let me know if you agree with this freaking 20 minutes or not even 20 minutes 20 minutes in i'm trying to it took me 20 to 30 minutes no joke just to figure out my hero shot i'm like which is my hero shot like how do i pick a hero shot it was a freaking struggle because when everything is so beautiful what do you pick so it was the biggest struggle number one i swear to you i'm not making this up three and a half hours in and i was on my second shot because i had constructed and deconstructed so many grades and i went back and forth and back and forth what's my hero shot what should i where should i start I'm not joking when this dude walked in after three and a half hours and he asked me like if I wanted to go to lunch or something I was just sitting there sweating and he's like Kazi how's it going and I just like looked at him and like you know that whole you know BS thing like fake it till you, till you make it I just looked at him and I'm like it's 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 going great dude I think I'm going to skip lunch you go do your thing um you know it'll be good like 6 6 o'clock like come come back around around 6ish and we should have something really solid so that's when I learned that time management is everything when we think of these big hollywood colorists like when you think of company 3 the reason why they're charging ridiculous amount of money is because i'm telling you looks are great all these things are epic but you have to learn the art of time management that is the biggest one okay so tore just joined fcm What's going on brother? Welcome to FCM. So freaking excited to have you guys. Remember 11:20 at midnight the price is going to jack up. It's going to skyrocket, okay? So if you guys want to sign up for this class and be grandfather into that plan, this is your time. 
uh, YouTube, you have a link pinned. Instagram, it's in the bio. And again, guys, so just think about this, okay? That's why for my masterclass, I'm gonna turn the camera around for one second uh, for Instagram so you guys can see this too. This is exactly why I literally structured my class just like this, okay? So you got conform module, then you got cam, what's up? Um, so you got your conform module and then you got your cameras module, right? So, I mean, how to get the best image out of your camera. Then we go into color correction because if you learn the art of balancing, it's game over. Like that right there can give you such a head start because then it's so easy to find what's my hero shot. Boom, boom, boom. You try two, th two three things. Let's move on. Or is it good? Is it good enough? Let's just build my base right here. Then we go to shot matching. This is where you're actually going to learn the art of time management and then how to pick your hero scenes, how to pick your hero shots. All those things are covered right here. Color grading, everybody's favorite. You want to create John Wick look. How do you do it? You know, let's find out. Studio setup how to build your studio, Kazi, what kind of monitor should I get, Kazi, do I need a probe, you know, what kind of graphic card, blah, 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 don't worry about it, you don't need to hit me up, everything is covered right here. Freelance module, you know, those people that have that concern, I don't wanna make that big of an investment because I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, freelance, that's why, good thing about this masterclass is that it's not just teaching you the skills. The reason why other courses, you know, you can get other courses for 50 bucks, for 100 bucks, and they know why they're selling those courses for that much because they're only giving you less than half of the freaking equation. You're only getting just one part of it, which is, you know, okay, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, I'm gonna show you the skill of color grading. Now you fetch for yourself. Now you figure out what you need to do with that. But that is a big, big, big piece of the puzzle to understand how do you actually land land a job? How do you apply these skills that you just gained? Because anytime you take a course, when you go to college, we get hyped, right? We get super pumped, we're jacked. Like we're coming out of college and sky's the limit. Then what do you do next? So it's the same thing with courses, master classes, all of that. Like you get super freaking jacked and you're like, now what do I do afterwards? So this is where freelance module is a big one for me. Then we got a bonus module. That is a great one because anytime I put out a banger that just like blows up on Instagram, on YouTube, I turn it into a video that I put up in my masterclass with the footage and all that. Okay, so clean white look is in there and that's like the most like you know powerful and most go-to commercial look that you can learn right now. It's the hottest look in the commercial business. So the clean white look is in there. You got how to get uh, natural skin tones out of your Sony S-Log 8-bit footage. That's in there that you can you know, reference back and use the footage and practice along all those. Uh, how to uh, deal with gamma shift. I mean, so many of you that are on Mac especially are dealing with gamma shifts. Kazi, uh, everything looks great. I export it and you know, all of a sudden it's just you know, out of whack, like what happened? So that's all is in there. And then YouTube module, come on, everybody, like 90% of you guys, you know, um, know me from YouTube and especially people that are on YouTube, you guys know the kind of looks and everything that we're creating there. So then the YouTube module is that any footage that I can get the rights to will funnel into my masterclass. You will have access to it along with the project file so you can pop open my project see what I'm doing and then follow along, okay? So there's all these things that are happening here, guys. 30 minutes left to sign up. I mean, like I said, I mean, this is Hail Mary time. You gotta do it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something that might sound ridiculous, but I'm telling you, okay? It's important. So I'm gonna just say this right now. Up until this point, I told you, you know, hey, if your heart is not into it, like whatever, like, you know, maybe do it, maybe don't do it, whatever. Right now, look at this mastermind group. Like the access that you're getting to this group alone I mean, you get to participate in a weekly competition where I'm literally spending one to two hours just breaking down your looks, giving you feedback along with your peers, okay? So say, you know, you couldn't participate because you were working, you were too busy, it doesn't matter because you can just watch, you know, the critique um, that I give to other people and then pick up pointers from there and just like run with it, okay? So that's happening right there. Networking opportunities, people are actually hooking up, working on projects together, real world projects, that's all happening in there. Um, and, the, and ultimately, the community that it is, is completely different than our general community, where everybody is like pulling each other's legs and I don't need to get into it, you know, because it's negative, but you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That's just what this industry is about. Like, there's a lot of leg pulling happening, okay? It's the opposite of that. Because I've been a part of, like, because I've seen that side and I'm disgusted by that side, I wanted to create a brand new community where 
it, it just, that doesn't happen. There's zero tolerance for that. In this community, that does not happen, okay? It's a grading forum on steroids. When you go, Kazi, I'm looking for this, you get the answer. Hey guys, I'm looking for this screen, that screen, like which one should I get? We don't give you a, you know, 70 freaking pages long, you know, hey, uh, figure it out, like uh, read this article, read this document, blah, blah, blah. We go, boom, just go there, you know, try this, get this screen. They got a good deal going on here, buy it from there, okay? And ultimately, like I said, so now I'm gonna ask you for something ridiculous, okay? So people that are on the fence, because literally we got half an hour left, people are, that are on the fence and they're just like, Kazi, love your stuff, love your YouTube videos, love your Instagram videos, I don't know what else I can learn from this. I just told you everything that you're gonna learn from this, okay? So at this time, I'm literally gonna have to ask you about this. Like, if you're not gonna do this for you, if you're not gonna do this for your family, then I'm looking deep into your eyes right now and I'm telling you, you gotta do this for me. You got to do this for me, okay? Because I am telling you, stick with me, give me one month and just see what happens. And then if you don't like it, once again, you got 30 days. If you don't like it, bail out. But that said, I promise you, there's crazy raving fans that are just going nuts about like that got the masterclass and they will tell you what's in it for you. So here I'm just like pretty much, you know, like pulling you, you know, into something that you can't even see right now. And I'm telling you that you want to be a part of it. Okay. That said, guys, link is in the bio Instagram. It's been fun. This whole week has been absolutely insane. You guys are just mad, mad, mad support. And this crowd is just crazy. YouTube. Love you guys so freaking much. And my wife just reminded me, this is what I told you. I freaking suck at this. Like, I don't I don't even know what I'm doing here. So she's going to just throw some questions and I'm going to answer whatever I can. Okay. Um, okay. Question, so, question time. Okay. Q&A. Stick around. Using Canon 700D, but when I color grade on my shot, I did not get the result like you. Okay, so that, like, you know, when you say I didn't get the result like you, there's so many factors going on, right? Like, are you in the same space at the same time shooting the same thing? And I know the answer. The answer is no. So you can't make a statement like you didn't get the same exact result. That's like me lighting up a set right here, and then I go Lawrence and Jill. I try to create the same Joker scene, and I just didn't get the same results. What happened here? I even used the same camera, and you're not even using the same camera. So what I'm gonna tell you is that what, uh, it, it's gonna go back to knowing the limits of your gear. And that's why the camera module is like so big for me and I push everyone that you guys don't understand how important that part is because you, I can give you red and then I can give like Tom Pool red footage and the results are gonna be completely different. Wouldn't you agree? And what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter what you're using. If you don't know the potential and how much push and pull you can do, you can't get the results. So just like listening to your question, I can tell you right now, there's a lot that you can learn. And by, by then, once you have that skill acquired, you're not gonna be wondering why am I not getting the results? And that's that's a really good question that you brought up because I wanna say there was one thing that keeps coming up during these lives. People are saying, Kazi, you create all these really rad looks, they're amazing, but sometimes we're missing the why. Like how are you doing what you're doing and why are you doing that? And guys, I cannot cover that up or else my videos would be six hours long. That just can't happen on YouTube. So this is why the master class is that curriculum. It's the entire roadmap. It is giving you the why over and over and over and over again until it sinks in and you understand what that is. Link in the bio Instagram, link in the description and pinned in the comments. YouTube, we're gonna take more questions. Right. So stick around. Where have you, this is a question from Instagram who's saying that you're not live, this is a recording. But anyway, where have you learned all of this? Like, who is your teacher? Okay, so there is no one teacher. It, it started as a self-taught thing, you know? So, I mean, I started out on my own and then just like all of you guys, like, you know, stumbled, you know, across and took this course and that course and, you know, like, it just like whatever, like picking pieces from here and there. You know, YouTube never personally didn't really help me because by the time YouTubers started coming out with uh, DaVinci Resolve tutorials, I had already been using Resolve for five, six years. So I was really good at it and I was actually making money um, professionally doing it. But ultimately, it was just like, honestly, I mean, it was just a user guide. I mean, I tell you guys how much I, you know, uh, discouraged like you guys uh, drinking that Kool-Aid, getting into the freaking user guide world, but personally, 
I, it was so frustrating starting out that there was no roadmap. There was absolutely no roadmap. And then the people that were actually teaching Resolve, they were just all button pushers. Like, here is the saturation knob. And if you turn it to 100, and then everything looked like garbage at 100, and they would just leave it there and they would end the video. They were like, well, you, we're just making a point. We're leaving it there so with the compression, you guys can actually see it too, because with exaggeration, you might not see what we're doing. And I'm like, what is, what is happening? Like create a look, like talk about the art of it, you know? So it was a lot of trial and error. And I tell you this, this is also an amazing question because when I wanted to build my masterclass, it all came from not only what you guys wanted to see and what you guys were asking for, but also I'm like, what did I need when I was starting out? What were the things that if somebody would have given me X, Y, and Z, I would have freaking blown up years ago, not in 2020. I would have freaking blown up in 2010. Like what were the things that I needed? So then this is what I'm doing. I took all that and when I you know, put everything into a masterclass, I'm like, this is exactly what you guys are gonna get. All right, we got lots of questions. So let's just do some rapid fire. All right, we're gonna do rapid fire, will, 30 minutes. Uh, will FCM Mastermind Group always only be in Facebook? It's only going to be in Facebook. It's not going to go anywhere else as of now because what I'm seeing people doing with my course and how it's like ending up on like illegal websites and things like that, I don't like where it's uh, it's going, but obviously I also have no control over it because if, you know, Hollywood movies can end up there, then I'm, I'm nobody compared to them. So what I'm saying is that, yes, it's going to be a closed community. Uh, Facebook gives gives us a really good platform, is super smart, and the way it operates and it works and how you can organize things and everything. Like, it's just the, the potential is endless, so it's going to stay in that community. What's the price of the course? Price of the course right now is six ninety seven. At midnight, the timer is already set. Okay, so that's going to jack. That price is going to go up. And uh, if you guys have never opened the link, the course will not show up for you. If you guys have opened the link, it's going to stay on for a couple of days. Okay, that's some transparent information that I'm sharing with you. So it will build the cash and it will stay on for a couple of days, but e but not with the same price, with the new price. So if you want to take advantage of the 697 and there's a payment plan, there's a monthly payment plan. You can divide it into three different payments, which just like literally makes it super easy to just get it. You guys should join right now. You don't want to see what the price is going to be after midnight. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to tell you how much, uh, how much I'm going to jack it up. I'm just going to tell you it's worth every single cent. Like with my valuation, like this course can go up a lot. Like, and people that have taken it say that all the time. I mean, for me to be running a business, having triple A list clients, having a family, and then showing up every Sunday and putting out like literally spending three to four, sometimes five hours, like really putting deep thought into this feedback video and then kicking out that video for you guys every freaking week. And that is just part of the package now. You know, people are grandfathered into that program. I know for a fact that people pay tens of thousands of dollars to be in a mastermind group like that. So just keep that in the back of your head. People that are thinking that the course is very expensive. Let's go. Okay, so I just joined the FCM community. This is a question on YouTube. How are they just joined? They just purchased the course. How did they join the FCM group now? Okay, so the FCM group, so guys, and that goes for Instagram and for YouTube. Just remember, guys, everything is spelled out. Like how, you know, like when you guys watch my videos and you're like, dude, you go like so freaking fast, but everything makes sense. My masterclass is that, but on steroids. Everything will make sense. It's just spelled out and the way it's broken down and everything, like, it just, there's gonna be no confusion. You just have to put put faith in me when I say, please do not skip anything. Like go through every single video, do not skip anything. In the first four videos, uh, in the introductory section, you're gonna find out exactly how to contact me, how to join the Facebook group, how long is it gonna take you once you apply for the group. So all that is in there. Okay. Are the modules pre-recorded and can be accessed anytime? The, 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 you have lifetime access. So you sign up for the course right now. The price goes up, the price goes down, the price goes to billions of dollars. It doesn't matter what happens to that. I close the course, I open the course, whatever happens to that. Once you're in the course, you're in the course, you have it, okay? And uh, you have uh, lifetime access to it. 
Um, all the videos are stream only. You cannot download the videos. So like all the lessons, you have to watch it. You know, you can watch it on any device. Okay, Podia is a so, super, super robust platform, but you have to watch it uh, on a stream. So you have to be on a Wi-Fi or LTE or whatever, but you can download all the course materials. So those you can have, so then you can put it on your local drive and then practice along. All right, this is another question on YouTube. What does low soft, high soft, low and high under really mean? Okay, so these, you know, so I'm just gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna sell my class right now. This is what I'm gonna tell you. Like, th it, all these things are in there. Like, I mean, right now, if I just say some gibberish, say some words, it's not gonna make much sense to you because I can tell you, like, low soft can help create really stylized looks. What does that mean? It, it helps create like Vogue, like, you know, low con, low contrast looks, like really cool high fashion looks. But again, what does that mean? But if you really wanna put two and two together and then practice along and see it in action, it's in the class. Go ahead. Okay, this is a question on Instagram. How important is it for the director to know the color grading to make a film and be able to tell the editor to be able to to get the look that they want. References, references and samples. I mean that like literally my entire life, I've never worked on a single project where the uh, where the creative director and I didn't sit down and we didn't talk about certain movies, certain shows, whatever. Um, and I had brought on, brought on one colorist that said that that has never happened to him. And it blows my freaking mind because I'm like, how is that even possible? But my entire career, and then even when I brought on Keenan, Keenan said the same thing. He's like, literally the first thing is like, I work on music videos and they go, give me that look, give me that, like seven look, give me fight club look, give me that look, this look. So it's always going to be like that. It makes it black and white, you know? Like it just makes it black and white. Like if I were to tell you, but you need to have a skill set to know how to create those, right? Let's say you take the class, you're up to that, you know, level where you're very comfortable, like whipping out, like, okay, so, uh, Rishab, I think, Rishab, yes. If you're a beginner brother, if you're starting out, so like the layout that I showed you, right? Like the whole roadmap, this is what I was trying to say. Like it is meant for beginners. Like if you're just starting out, trust me, brother, after you watch the crash course video, the crash course video is gonna be a must if you're a beginner. It's gonna get you going. It's gonna get you comfortable and you can hit the ground running, okay? Okay, this is a question on Instagram. Is there any technical tutorial? So there's tons of technical tutorials. I mean, it's like the way I'm gonna break down how to read scopes alone could be worth this class. These are the things that I'm trying to tell you. This is the kind of information that gets very hodgepodge and gets in the gray zone online, on YouTube and stuff, because you cannot just type that in and find it. You can find somebody's interpretation of that, but it's not gonna be my interpretation of that. But if you like my style and if you like my, the, the way of taste making, then you need to learn the back end of like how I think and how I analyze and construct that and how I see things and scopes. You don't wanna see how somebody else, some other channel sees these things. You have to see how Kazi envisions these things before he gets into creating a certain look. That's why it's very important. Go ahead. All right, this is on YouTube now. Can we use the provided footage from the masterclass for a show reel? I can't, I can't give you access to that because like I said, there's barely any footage that's provided by me. I have, you know, uh, collaborated with tons of, you know, high profile people that, you know, provided footage and I wanna respect them. And when I told them that I'm gonna use this footage in a closed environment for my class, I only had asked them that, hey, it's gonna stay within that class. So I'm gonna say no. Somebody had, you know, pointed me out that one of the guys from FCM has actually built an entire reel based on that footage. I'm gonna say no, okay? It's one of those politically correct things that I'm not gonna give you some other answer. I'm just gonna say, I wouldn't recommend that, but what you're gonna be learning from it, you can literally go out and shoot your own footage or have your friends or, or take this. In the freelance module, the chops that I'm gonna show you and the, the things that I'm gonna teach you how to go and get your hands on high-end footage, that's it, that's the answer. I should have just said that. In the freelance module, you're gonna find out how to go get high-end footage that you can add to your reel. Okay, this question's on Instagram. Can you add a tutorial on calibrating any monitor for DaVinci? Here's the thing, yes. The answer is it's it's written right there on my whiteboard that those things are coming. Not only that, I'm, I'm actually gonna, in my studio module, by the way, guys, even that uh, people that are part of the masterclass get pumped because 
I'm gonna be showing you some, I'm gonna be doing some deep divers uh, technical tutorials, okay? I'm gonna show you how I built my NAS. I have a, which is a network storage. I built a 80 terabyte network storage that is under 3000 or $3,500 and you know that that does not make any sense. If you were to go the G technology route for eight, 80 terabyte drive and the speeds that I'm getting, you're gonna be paying $12,000, okay? I built that drive under $3,500 and it was rocket science. Like, the, I'm getting memory, you know, from one company, I'm getting like different cards, like 10 gigabit ca cards, then I have to set up my network settings in my Mac, I have to set my network settings in Synology Drive, I have to make sure everything is sunk like right and everything works together. It was a freaking rocket science how I got it all set up, like a couple of SSDs and set them to cache and they have to go in a specific order, a specific slots. I'm telling you, it was rocket science. So those kind of things, you will never be able to find anywhere else. It's that I have such a crazy technical background. I went to IT, you know, before I went to film school. So I have that, a lot of that, that just kicks in and I, I can just make things happen. I'm going to be bringing those into my studio module and I think that could be very beneficial. I'm also going to deep dive, tell you exactly what I got for my new LG CX and how I have it calibrated. Listen to this. I don't have it calibrated just for a, uh, SDR. I have it calibrated for HDR. I have it calibrated for Dolby Vision. All those things are gonna be going on step by step. Uh, those tutorials are gonna be pretty lengthy and it's gonna take time because I really have to put my head together and figure out how to cram that information and put it out the Cosman style so it makes sense. I don't wanna overwhelm you, but that's gonna be coming up, so get super pumped about that. Let's keep going. All right, this question's on YouTube. Can we achieve a look like a52 company? Yeah, yeah, A52. A52 company working only by myself or does it take a team? Uh, when you look at Keenan and the kind of stuff that you're, he's putting out, when you look at Brian Singler, who's working for a much smaller company, when you look at like some mad, mad, mad colorist, um, a lot of the stuff that um, Ty Roth takes on um, outside of company three, He's doing it. He he's doing it by himself. The kind of stuff that these guys are putting out, I will just tell you this: the limits are going to be on you. Like, what kind of limits you want to put on yourself? Like, can you just go nuts and literally be producing stuff that's you know, like you work on the next Lion King? That's not, that's up to you. Uh, and that's literally, it's just not rah rah. You can make it happen. Like last year around this time, I don't know how to check my DM on Instagram. And today, you guys might think that. I know everything about Instagram. Like that was just last year. Then I committed to something and I was persistent and I was consistent and then the rest is hit history. You know, I just put my head down and go. So ultimately it's gonna come down to you. Uh, creating looks like A52, things like that. I can, I will tell you one thing. So let's just get a little technical here and I will tell you one thing that company three, A52, you got um, Technicolor, you got uh, uh, eFilm, all these major, major, major heavy hitters um, major players in the game, they have their own secret sauce. Remember when I did Knives Out and I said like, yes, it is a lot of Yedlin, but trust me when I say this, people like kind of went nuts and they were like, oh, Yedlin is a scientist and he makes his own stuff. I get it, I get it. But trust me, eFilm and these companies that are developing their own film emulation or developing their own LUTs and the kind of stuff that they're, they got going on, it's out of control, okay? So they have genuinely, they have like, color scientists just there full time cooking up stuff like they have R&D departments in those companies like creating their own sauce so then I go to company three to get company three look I go to e-film to get e-film look okay so there's gonna be always that so keep that in mind but outside of that can you create something that becomes your signature and it's as good as them absolutely move on all right, this question is on YouTube. Is it okay to crush reds or blues or some color in the RGB scope? Sometimes when applying a color, some other colors go below zero. 100, absolutely. You know why I would say that? Just go to Shot Deck, pull some stills from Joker, uh, pull some stills from Joker, bring it into Resolve, pop it open into scopes, and especially that scene where he is with the... Uh, was he with the counselor in the beginning? Remember where he's just like, 
Anyways, when he's with the counselor, right, where he's going like, is it me or is it getting crazy, crazier out there or crazy out there? That scene right there, if you take that scene, Edward just joined with the V. What's up, Edward? Welcome to FCM, brother. So if you go to, if you go and pull up that shot and pull up the scopes, look at it, okay? Red channel, gone. It's like there. It's like compressed and it's like right here. And then you got your other channels built up and that gave it that crazy like teal and orange. But there was a method to that madness. I mean, I love Jill. I mean, you guys know, like, I mean, she is just a freaking wizard with how she does it, but she makes it sound like a, an art. Like she makes it sound so effortless and simple. All right. This is a question on YouTube about the masterclass. 697 is way out of my reach. Any chances you'll be releasing maybe an intermediate course at a lesser price? No, 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 no. I'm not thinking about the, I don't know, dude. I mean, it's just like the reason why I am putting everything into one is because I don't want to turn into that guy that holds stuff from you. You get what I'm saying? Like this Q&A that we're having, this might as well be like a paid like webinar. You get what I'm saying? This is a deep web. Weird. So anyways, guys, so like what I'm saying is that, you know, this is just not my style. That's just not what happens. Okay. Like when I'm in, when I'm going, I'm just freaking going. Okay. So that's just the way it is. And I don't hold information. I feel like the day I start building tiers, the problem that's going to happen with that is that I'm going to start doing that thing where... Uh, I don't want to give them this. I don't want to show them this glow secret sauce because I want to keep it for my course and I don't want to do this. I don't think like that. And and I'm so happy to tell you that organically, it's so beautiful. Like all my YouTube stuff is complimentary. My YouTube stuff is the next level, meaning you have to take my masterclass to check all these boxes to get to a point where I tell you, hey, Joe, today we're going to be creating the Witcher look. You go, dude. Check, 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 check. I am ready to go with you. I'm at your level. And then when we create the Witcher look, you were like, I remember Kazi did this in the masterclass and he talked about this in the masterclass. I'm with you, brother. I'm following along. That's when you just skyrocket. That's where when you become a trendsetter. That's when you become a tastemaker. So that's why I don't have to hold back anything. I'm not doing tears, but at the same time, you know, I mean, you can get a payment plan and then the payments are broken up. Guys, everybody, if you're over 18, even if you're under 18, you got parents, everybody has a credit card. And once again, you're not buying a car. You're not doing something stupid. You're investing in yourself. So you guys know what you guys are going to get. I mean, you get this free content and it's amazing. So many people that have purchased the class are selling it more than me. I mean, people are putting out more stories about my class than I am. It's it's out of control. So I don't even have to do much. Let's move on to the next I question. Think they're still live on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, it went back okay. on. Like, it's amazing. Yeah. All right. My we'll take some more questions. All right. Would you say that I need a color calibrated monitor? Anthony just joined. Let's go, Anthony. He's saying like, I'm hyped. Let's go, brother. What did you say? Would you say I need a color calibrated monitor? Here's here's the answer, okay? I don't care. I don't care if you go on forums and they were like, Kazi's a chump. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm going to tell you this. If you're starting out... If you are an editor, if you are a cinematographer, you want to start getting your feet wet, but not like make a massive investment. If money is an issue, look into this monitor that I'm going to tell you right now. It's LG UL 600. I think that's what it's called. Okay. I'm going to pull it up for my YouTube. I'm going to UL 600. Yeah. So LG UL 600, this monitor is like 347 bucks. You can find it a lot cheaper on uh, on uh, eBay or whatever or on Craigslist. Get that monitor. That's the monitor that's running on this screen right now. And I'm telling you, factory default settings, it is pretty good. Like, you can just start grading. It's pretty good. And again, like I'm saying, I mean, now don't start grading Netflix shows, okay? Like, I mean, that's a different story. Like, then you just have to, like figure out like get like the monitors that are approved by Netflix and all that stuff. But for majority of the stuff, you can hit the ground running with this monitor. Then join the masterclass, understand the different tiers and what other monitors you can get. Then I will like literally guide you that, hey, now this is your next tier monitor. Now this is your ultimate monitor, that kind of thing. Let's move on. Okay. Do you ever use uh, Fusion tab in Resolve? Okay, so live to create or live to create photo. Yes, U L G uh, U L six six hundred brother. That's the monitor. What did you say? I'm sorry. Do you ever use the fusion tab? 
Uh, I uh, I don't use the Fusion tab, tab. Like I talked to uh, you guys earlier in the earlier live and I said that I'm just not the one for that. Like I'm, I'm not a mad visual effects guy. I will do like wire removals and super basic stuff, but I'm not a crazy ninja when it comes to full hardcore visual effects. I pass that on. I got people that I send that stuff to and it's like super, super seamless. It's really easy. It's like I work with the same guys and I'll just be like, hey, I need these sky replacements. I need mats created for car shots, like that kind of stuff and then it just gets done we move on all right we only got 10 minutes we've got last question so um we have multiple uh multiple people are essentially asking the same question if they're not in the states if they're in india or uk how can they buy same thing i mean if you have a visa card if you have a mastercard if you have a paypal um amex like whatever you got so it's the same rules i mean i mean it's global like the setup that i have i think I don't know if I want to go as far as saying like I have more students outside of US. Maybe. I have like, I mean, a lot of students from all over the place. So, I mean, people, guys, people that are part of FCM, drop in a comment and let us know that, you know, if you, where are you from and where you bought the class from? Because there's going to be a lot of them that are going to say that they bought the class, um, you know, from a different country. Why is it important to use noise reduction in the first node and LUTs in the last? Okay, so that's an amazing question. So first node, because it's coming, you're working with your log footage, right? Most of the time, if you're not working with like, you know, traditional budget cameras that are shooting in standard settings. So if your camera allows log, then you're working with the cleanest image possible and you're working with log. So you wanna feed noise reduction in the beginning to clean the image even more. So then, because listen to this, nothing will destroy your key, your qualifier more than noise. So now think about it. If I'm doing a qualifier for a skin and then I do my noise reduction afterwards, I'm going to have a really bad key. But if I move my noise reduction node before the qualifier, I'm going to send the cleanest signal through. Then when I pull keys, they're going to be like butter. They're just going to be so soft. So I think that will make sense. Let's move on. Okay. Um, this person's considering switching from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve. If they purchase... Um, are there free upgrades when they switch from like version 16 to version 17? Yes, uh, all unlimited. I mean, in perpetuity. I don't know what the F Resolve is thinking, but they got to put a cap on it, but they haven't yet. I purchased Resolve. Uh, okay, so Getaly. Getaly just joined FCM. What's up, Getaly? I don't know if it's a male or a female name, so I'm just going to say welcome to FCM. Super pumped. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> so... Um, I purchased, uh, I purchased a uh, black magic cinema camera. I'm talking about the Polaroid looking the OG first cinema camera. And it came with the dongle old school resolve dongle that day to this day. I never had to buy res like pay for resolve upgrades. It's all free. So it's amazing. Eight minutes left link in the bio Instagram link pinned, uh, for you, YouTube. And also in the, in the description section, let's go. How often do you need to color calibrate your mouse? Uh, people say every six months or a year, uh, I mean, you will feel it out. Yeah. Like, you know, once you start picking up on the, on the scopes and everything, like you will kind of, and the biggest giveaway will be the, the tint spectrum. So it's going to be the green and the, and the, uh, magenta. It's always going to be those two spectrum. Like where you're always going to feel like, man, on the scopes is looking perfect, but then it's looking a little green and you will know that something is not right. But I would say. I'm not going to lie to you. There has been times when I went on for like a year and a half and I didn't calibrate my screen. Then there's times when I had to calibrate my screens after like a month, after three months. Go ahead. Why Resolve? Why not Baselight? I can't tell you about Baselight. I've never used it. Resolve is uh, accessible. Resolve is not pretentious. Resolve is not one of those softwares that are still trying to play the old school Hollywood game that let's keep this in the family and let's sell a software for $100,000 and let's all be cute. And, uh, you know, let's not give access to YouTubers and all these people because they come in and, you know, they, they then like all of a sudden, like we stop charging 1500 an hour and we have to charge, you know, 100 bucks an hour. So it, I, I don't like that. I like to democratize and DaVinci Resolve and Black Magic has democratized this industry and I'm all for that. So that's that's my take on that. Will on Instagram said just you telling us about noise reduction alone is worth two hundred dollars. Okay, Ultra Shorts on YouTube said many folks are saying that the masterclass is gonna be available after today. Will it be? 
like I told you, if you have already came in contact with it, like like with through Podia, the website that hosts the host my course, there is a glitch in the system where the cash will stay on for a couple of days, but the price will be updated. When I change the price, it will change after midnight once we wrap up this because I have to do it. I don't have other employees that are doing something in the background. I have to do it. So once this live ends, I'm going to go manually and I'm going to change the price. So the price will be changed and the course will not show up for people that never came in contact or clicked on it. People that have clicked on it, they will still see it for a couple of days before the cash like resets or whatnot, but you will see a different price. Let's move on. All right. I use uh, David on Instagram. I use Premiere Pro. Would you recommend a workflow from Premiere to Resolve? Yeah, it's in the masterclass. So, I mean, I use Premiere Pro as an example for the round trip. If you want to keep everything, like all your edit points and everything right. If you don't, then there's a bacon blade process that's a lot more effortless and a lot simpler. But that's going to be, you know, a question that you have to ask for your to your client or yourself. All those things. Is it's in the, the masterclass. for beginners? The course... Oh, the dude that was on timeout, he just came back and started spewing the same. Guys, somebody's got to tell me, what is that word? What is he saying? I don't know. They're doing it on Instagram. On I, I hid that too. They're on both. They're just spamming you, and they're going to be blocked after this. So I hope it was worth it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay, cool. What were you just asking? I don't know. Let's go again. Oh, is the course for beginners? Yes, I already answered that, so I'm not going to repeat it, um, but I'm just going to, like, yes, it is. I mean, there's a crash course within that course that is for people that barely ever open Resolve. It's going to take you genuinely from this is your first time opening Resolve all the way to what is happening. Okay, do you have the ability to um, make the class by chapters autoplay? I think you can. I mean, personally, I've never been on the other side. So as crazy as that sound, right? I've never been on the other side, so I don't know what happens, but I do know that it keeps track of your progress. It keeps track of like if you end the video like halfway through and you wake up the next morning and you pick it up, it will know that. So it is, I can tell you it's way better than HBO Max and any HBO app. You know, like how oh you just God, you, you just go and you click on like you were on episode eight of like season three of Game of Thrones, but then you go on HBO app again and it, it starts episode one, season one. I hate it. That's for another topic, another day. Uh, sorry, I was blocking people. Oh, good. Will you... Um, okay. Do you experience any RSI injuries due to your occupation? No, I mean, you know, you guys know that's why I think the tablet has something to do with it, to be honest with you, because I feel like when I used to use mouse, man, this was gone. That was like a real thing. And it's like, like I would get like bruises and it was like all messed up. But ever since I started using like pen and tablet, it's just like writing. So I, I don't know what it is. It takes the pressure off the points like where, you know, your hand will be messed up over time. But never feel a thing. I can literally sit here until I pass out and, you know, I won't feel discomfort. Let's keep going. Um, is it okay to use the free version of DaVinci Resolve? All right, guys, we're going to do two more questions and then that's it. Uh, so free version, yes. If you're taking the course, you can get along, like you can basically just move along with everything. You won't be able to use some of the secret sauces like the noise reduction or grain. But again, you will know at least how I use it. So eventually when you do get the version, paid version, how to use that. But again, I'm getting academic discount. I'm getting 10% off on DaVinci Resolve. So people that are kind of concerned, you can get, you can save a little bit of money there too. 10% is not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So you're getting that. I highly recommend the paid version. Let's take two All more right. questions. Uh, have you ever used Premiere Pro for color grading? And if so, what do you think compared to DaVinci Resolve? I mean, there's no comparison, right? Like one is an offline editor. Uh, offline editor means like, you know, uh, Avid Media Composer, Final Cut 10, and Premiere Pro. They're offline editors. You cut in that, and then you pass the thing along, um, you know, to finishing. And then that could be flame. That could be uh, not even smoke. That could be flame. That could be DaVinci Resolve. That could be base light, that kind of thing. Luster, that's a good one. Where can I find free cinematic LUTs? 
So I don't know about free cinematic LUTs, but I can tell you that, you know, Impulse is pretty good one. But then again, Film Convert just made a deal with them. So we partnered up with Film Convert. You guys get 30% off. Now that's pretty substantial. And I highly recommend them because they come in and in the form of plugins. So you can, you know, cake it on and then like take away whatever you don't like and like mix and match. And then you can kick it out as a LUT if you like. Anyways, guys, that was it. Love you guys. This was a freaking blast. So amazing. Let's all thank my wife. So just drop it in. Just say thanks, 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 thanks. Follow me at Data. Or you can just follow her even better at Data. Love you all. Until next time, it was a blast.